So what's going on guys, it's JMSP Boxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to my channel so former WBA world middleweight champion Daddy Jacobs is definitely going over his options on who he wants to fight next he's looking for a fight very soon Danny Jacobs and he could land on the Gennady Golovkin so Canelo Alvarez on the card on September the 16th Danny Jacobs last fought in March against Gennady Golovkin in which he lost a very close 12 round unanimous decision a lot of people thought that Danny Jacobs won that fight me personally I had Gennady Golovkin up by a couple of rounds but I understood why people had Danny Jacobs winning the fight he definitely did things in there against Golovkin that other people hadn't done and he was very competitive against Gennady Golovkin Gennady Golovkin had to really go out of his comfort zone and revert to more technical ability and use his jab in the fight and he couldn't really go in there and knock Danny Jacobs out, put pressure on him, cut the ring off the usual way that he does because Danny Jacobs managed to nullify him in there, managed to take away some of the big shots that he has and he also hits very hard as well Danny Jacobs and Gennady Golovkin knew that so he knew that he just couldn't go in there all guns blazing, taking shots like we've seen him do in many fights Gennady Golovkin because Danny Jacobs hits very hard and he could have hurt Gennady Golovkin so that's why Gennady Golovkin reverted to his jab and was the more aggressive in the fight, managed to drop Danny Jacobs in the fourth round but Danny Jacobs put on a very good performance against Gennady Golovkin so he deserves a big fight next if he wants it um, there's three possible fights in my opinion well four you've got David Lemieux David Lemieux trying to get back in the title contention after losing his IBF middleweight title to Golovkin. He's coming off a good win against Curtis Stevens, managing to knock Curtis Stevens out in three rounds and such a successful victory for him. And it was a spectacular knockout. It was definitely one of the knockouts of the year for David Lemieux. If David Lemieux and Danny Jacobs fought, I'd be picking Danny Jacobs. I just think Danny Jacobs is the most technically sound fighter out of the two. And I think he'll be able to defeat David Lemieux because David Lemieux is very one-dimensional as a fighter. He likes to come forward. He likes to put pressure on his opponent, like bull in a china shop type of pressure. And I think Danny Jacobs will be too quick for him. And I just see him hurting David Lemieux in there. If David Lemieux just came in there trying to throw bombs, because Danny Jacobs hits very hard and he'd be able to land the shots against David Lemieux so yeah I'd be picking Danny Jacobs to beat David Lemieux but it could be a good fight and don't get me wrong if David Lemieux managed to hit Danny Jacobs square on the chin then Danny Jacobs could be in trouble and then you've got Billy Joe Saunders WBO middleweight champion but if Danny Jacobs wants to fight on the Canelo Golovkin on the card I don't see Billy Joe Saunders fighting on that because Frank Warren wants to put Billy Joe Saunders on in his own show, I'm sure he does, because with the show being cancelled on July 8th against Kurt Sadeeds, who is a training part partner of Danny Jacobs, I see Billy Joe Saunders and Frank Warren being on a show, or putting on a show later on in the summer, and I don't see them being on the Golovkin Canelo Wonder card, so even though that would be a very good fight, and whoever would win that fight, would be the next man to face the Canelo Golovkin winner because they'd hold the only piece of the puzzle that the fighters don't have, which is the WBO middleweight title. So yeah, that could be a very good fight also. And you've also got um Jamal Charlo who hasn't had a fight yet at middleweight. He's recently moved up, former IBF hundred and fifty four pound champion in his last fight against um J Rock Julian Williams. He put on a very good performance. Everyone was rating J-Rock very highly. He was the number one mandatory to Jamal Charlo. People were saying that Charlo was going to lose that fight. But he managed to destroy J-Rock and stop him and knock him out in the fight. So now he's moving up to middleweight because he sees that as a more glamorous division. There's more fights out there for him. And he is a very good boxer, Jamal Charlo. He's definitely the better boxer out of the two brothers. He is better than his brother Jamel, in my opinion who is the WBC champion at £154. 
So yeah, that could be a good fight. He hits very hard, Jamal Charlo. Well, he did at 154 pounds, so we'll see if it could carry up to 106 there. He has got some good technical ability as well, Jamal Charlo. He's a very quick fighter, good counter puncher. So it'd be very interesting to see him against Danny Jacobs. And out of the fights, or well, the possible four fights for Danny Jacobs, I'm thinking about, I think that could be the best fight. And the fourth fight is Willie Monroe Jr. as well. He's a guy who's looking for a fight. And it wouldn't surprise me if Willie Monroe Jr. got the fight against Danny Jacobs next. Because even though Willie Monroe Jr. got stopped by Gennady Golovkin in six rounds, he is a good boxer. He's a very slick boxer. He's a southpaw as well, Willie Monroe Jr. But I just see Danny Jacobs being better than him technically. And I see him having too much power for Willie Monroe Jr. So yeah, Danny Jacobs, who do you want to see him fight next? Do you think he deserves a Gennady Golovkin um, rematch? Win, lose or draw against Canelo Golovkin? If K Golovkin somehow lost against Canelo, then I think him and Danny Jacobs... Could have a rematch if Golovkin lost to Canelo. I think that could be a good fight. And even if Golovkin won, then Danny Jacobs deserves a shot if he has a good win over one of the four fighters I just mentioned. Because Danny Jacobs made that fight very close. He was definitely the toughest opponent so far for Gennady Golovkin. And he does deserve a rematch. But yeah, who do you think Danny Jacobs should fight next? If JM